So there's a box we can go in and out of it. Now we need to make this into a pain box. So we're going to do the same thing like with the pit. We go to modes, volumes, and we want UT pain volume. Bring it in. Oh uh, wait, set the snap first to 50. Bring in our UT pain volume. Slap it right in the middle, and these pain volumes and other volumes are this lilac pinky colour like that. Look. And we want this to be exactly the inside dimensions of the room. Show um, what would that be? Would that be 700? 700? No, not quite. 750 is it? 750? No, 740. 740. Yeah, that's it by 740. 40. Okay, that's exactly the dimensions of the inside wall. The pain box is exactly the inner dimensions of the room. And then just the height, which was, uh, what was the height? Something like 600, wasn't it? Minus the height of the, the thing. So, uh, what, um, 560? Let me try that. No, that's a bit too much. 540? 540? Well, actually, it doesn't matter if it extends below the floor because it's only going to—we're only going to be in the space when we're on the floor or above. So let's make it 600. Bring it down so it's level with the top of the ceiling, the inner ceiling. That's the top of the inner ceiling. Bring it down like that. There we are. Okay. So when we walk into this room, we're in the pain volume now, and the pain volume. Here's its details. We won't have water this time, so we're not going to have viscosity when we in the room but the damage is there one damage taken away every second build file save and so when I go into this room I'll get one damage taken away every second but it's making a water sound when I go in and out uh, so select that pain box why is it doing a water sound when I go in and out? Water isn't ticked. Let's give it an entry sound. Oh, now I don't want to search for here. Power. Um, power line. Let's hear that sound. Uh, when we enter, let's hear that. that'll turn off when we come out though sometimes they won't turn off when we come out so let's make the exit sound yeah, that power line won't work it's got to be something enter power uh, let's try elect no let's try um, shock shock oh, let's try enter enter Slime enter, water enter, weapon shield entering. Let's try that. Weapon shield entering. Let's try that. And okay. And then let's have the same sound for coming out. Uh, let's try exit. There's only water exit, so I'll try enter again. And let's go with the same weapon shield entering. So we'll make that sound when you're going on out. Okay, build. I'll save. Let's try that. Here we go. So when I go in, I get this. <coughs> and the same sound when I come out. Now we want to sound while we're in there. So modes. Uh, what was it? All classes ambient sound. Bring an ambient sound speaker in to the room. Like that. Okay, and with it selected, look at its details here. We want the override attenuation, which makes the two big circles like that. Way too big the outer one, so I'm going to make the inner one have a radius of just 200. And the outer one have a radius of just say 800. Oh, 800. Like that. And the sound is going to be. 
Ooh, let's see. Power. Uh, power, power, power. Power line, let's hear that. You can play them from here. That's good, right, power line sound. So when I go in, I'll have that um, power sound. Build, save. So that room will have that sound in it all the time. Right, move near it. Like that. Okay, now we need the gas type. You know, we're in some gas, so we need the um, the post process volume box, right? So, modes, volumes. Post process volume, bring that in, snap it in the middle like that. Or snap to, I'll leave it in 10. Now, this has to also fit the bounds of the room. So, what was it for the other box? The other box was um, 740 by 740 by 600. So, this one, the post process box, will make the same 740 by 740 by 700. Bring it down, snap it to the top of the seeding like that. Now it's lower so I can always select the post process volume box, the pain volume box, like that separately because they've got different heights so I can see them clearly like that. Now the post processing box, let's make the colour in the room, tint, what could gas be? A sort of greeny yellow horrible colour like that let's say and then we're going to make it um, depth of field Gaussian and when you go in it will be out of focus and yellow and greeny and um, you'll get damage. Here we go. And then finally you want to put some lights in there maybe so it glows, um, lights, let's put a point light in there, okay, bring it down, put it inside the actual room like that, um, less radius, let's set its radius to just 300 like that and we'll give it a colour, uh, again whatever you want it to be, a greeny, yellowy, type colour or an orangey colour, yeah let's make it more orangey because the colour of the room is a yellowy green so make this an orangey colour like that and give it the real intensity of like I don't know what's the maximum 15,000 like that and then just zoom in let's alt drag a copy of that one over alt so there's a couple of them in there like that let's have another one let's have a fourth one like that, so it's got this green glow. Let's have them slightly different heights, like that. Say, so. okay, and um, build. Now there's a glow in there as well. Let's go in and try it. We need to make a bigger glow on these lights, don't we? So a bigger radius. Let's make it 800 for that one, and 800 for that one. Come on, sorry. 800 for that one, and 800 for that one. Now, now you see now you're getting rid of the red X. So that one can't be 800. It's overlapping, causing no. Still, let's try 400. Yeah, there you go. And that one. Oh, I don't know what that could be. Why don't we just have two in there instead? Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. I just have these two lights. Oh, oh, just you. Two lights in there. At around that height. Like that. And that one. Let's make that one bigger as well. 800. There you go. 
Uh, let's make them one of them greeny coloured like that, and one of them is yellowy coloured like that. Let's bring it away from the wall a bit, more into the middle of the room, and this one bring it away from the wall, more into the middle of the room, like that. Okay, there we go. Build, save, and there's a gas type room we can go into. Um, let's just check the post volume box and look down here and look for the bloom bit. Bloom intensity. I want to make this really high. Let's make it 500. So when you go in there, it's going to be what does this dirt mask intensity is? Let's try putting that at 40 or 100, just to see what it does. I don't know what it does. File. So, so it's going to make it, it should make it more blooming in there. Yeah. Do you get it? Okay, there you go. What I don't know how to do, but it'd be cool to do it, is um, there used to be this old UT map, UT99 map, where there was a room at one end of the map in, inside of another room and when you went in to get a critical power up somebody could press a door button on the outside and trap you in there and you would go uh, 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 and explode um, it'd be nice to know how to do that like to activate a door and then when the door's activated um, then the pain starts I'll see if I can learn how to do that but anyway there you go there's a room space where health is taken away and again with the pain volume you set the amount of space as uh, the amount of damage health that's been taken away per second all right all right so I hope that hope that's useful that's as far as I've got with it but I'll try and learn more and more stuff I find out I'll come back and do some extras all right well, there you go